Hey, what's up y'all? This is Rodney and I'm back. And I wanted to make this video because in the last video that I made, we've been talking about Flame Monroe for the last couple of days. And a lot of y'all were talking about, um, I think I mentioned Mal Malik, the Malik Yoba interview in my last video. And some of y'all were like, trying to get me together, trying. Um, he didn't even watch the video, so he don't even know, because I told y'all I didn't watch the video. And so you don't even know what was going on. It was confusing. A lot of y'all were saying that the reason why people thumbs down the video was because of the things that they were saying and how it was confusing and how they were lying and not telling the truth and saying how they were being, um, I guess, argumentative. And so I'm like, well, let me see. Well, let me go ahead and watch this video to see what the people talking about, because you know what? They might be telling the truth. I think what the problem is, is it's kind of like algebra, right? For some of us, algebra is hard. And when you first have to learn algebra, you're like, this shit doesn't make no sense. This shit is dumb. This shit is stupid. It just doesn't make sense. And so we, because of our frustrations and because we're not grasping it, we say that it's dumb. We say that it's stupid. Um, and it's really because we just don't get it. We just don't understand it. We can't do it. You see what I'm saying? So I think that sometimes, especially when it comes to like gay issues and especially trans issues, when the now that the conversation is starting to be had that because people don't, people can't grasp onto it. They say it's confusing. They say it's lies. They say it's not the truth. And then for a lot of us who grew up in spaces where our big mama or big daddy told us stuff, we still have those things in our head from what we learned 30, 40, 50 years ago. And let's just be honest. A lot of the shit that we were taught when we were younger was actually bullshit. And a lot of the shit that our people tried to teach us, they didn't even live by. You see? So the first thing I wanted to say is that um, there was a black uh, gay guy. Um, I guess it was gay girl. So I, let me say this much. I will say there were parts of the interview that made me go, hmm, okay. Okay, it's a lot of like fast talking and, you know, were language that I, that I'm that I haven't heard of. Okay, but so this is new. Um, but it wasn't anything for me that was just so confusing to the point where I was just like, okay, this is just too much. I need to give up. I pretty much got a lot of what they were saying. Now, maybe it's because, I'm just going to be honest, maybe it's because I've evolved in my thinking. I've told y'all it's no secret that I used to be like some of y'all, let's just be honest, where I hated trans people. Hell, I hated myself. I hated gays. But the older I got and the more I opened myself up to learn and accept people and listen to what people are saying, a lot of things, even though they didn't make sense to me before, I started to understand. Um, so it was a guy named David. I think the black girl name was Nala, Corman, and Malik. Malik is a long-winded motherfucker, baby. <laughs> Malik is long-winded. I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. Every time Malik started talking, once I found out that he's a long-winded motherfucker, I kind of tuned him out. Like, okay, girl. I felt like Malik was only on, did this interview only to... And I said this before when I found out about the interview, even though I didn't watch it. He's all, probably only doing this interview to try to do some damage control because of the uh, allegations that the allegations that came out about him. Um, let me look like this because I feel like I look like this. You can see my eyes. Um, about the allegations that came out about him um, basically having sex with trans um, girls, you know, around the ages of like 13, basically teenagers. So I was like, well, maybe this is just some type of, you know, what's the word I just used? What's the word? Um, I can't even think of the word. Maybe damage control. Maybe this is some damage control to try to help this situation. He's long-winded. I don't know why Carmen was there. She didn't even have to come. Honestly, I would have been okay with David, and I believe the girl's name was Nala. Um, the woman's name was Nala. Um... Uh, 
Mm -hmm. And another thing I want to say is this. Because I saw some people leave this in the comments section. I talk about black women issues all the fucking time. Whether it's shit that y'all go through in the workplace, whether it's shit y'all go through dealing with these niggas, whether it's, whether it's people trying to control y'all bodies. I talk about women issues, especially black women issues all the time. Please don't be one of those people. And I read some of y'all comments, so yeah, I'm talking to some of y'all. Please don't be one of those people who go to a breast cancer event talking about HIV, because that's what y'all doing. You talking about the trans women and it's black women out here being murdered too. I know black women are being murdered. Right now we're talking about the trans girls. If this was an HIV, uh, HIV event, you wouldn't go there talking about breast cancer. We know breast cancer exists, but right now we're talking about HIV. You wouldn't go to, you know, any other event talking about, we know what's going on, but right now we're talking about this spe specific situation. That's what we're doing. Um... So they're talking about language, language changing. This whole cisgender, cis, I mean, cis, man, cis uh, male, cis woman, or cis man, cis, uh, cis male, cis female. Listen, you ain't got to call yourself cis nothing, okay? But just like DJ Envy finally made a good point, and he probably wasn't making that point to take to give to us, but the truth of the matter is, Language changes and evolves all the time, okay? So I'm not exactly sure why y'all are so offended when people say that's a cisgender woman or that's a cisgender man. The only thing, that, that's just to let you know that you are biologically a woman, biologically a female. It's not to be, oh, they just want to change up the language to try to disrespect me and my womanhood. And no, that's not what it is. At one point, you could say mentally retarded. And then they say, oh, you can't call people retarded no more. At one point, you could say midget. But now you can't say midget. You have to say little people. So there have been words that we have used before. But then people come along and say, oh, we don't say that anymore. We say this. Or they add on words to the dictionary. Words are added into the into the dictionary all the time. So I'm not exactly sure why some people are so upset about some new words being added to the dictionary or to people's vocabulary. I'm not sure. Um, the whole thing about being about gender being assigned at birth. I don't see how that's a lie. That is the truth. When you were born, the doctor. If it was Dr. Jackie, if it was Dr. Simone, if it was Dr. Gray, uh, Dr. Whoever, they say it's a boy. They say it's a girl. And they base that off of your genitalia. That is the truth. That is not a lie. That's not a lie. I think where some of y'all may have got confused is, is when they say, when they were saying things like, but that may not be the gender that they feel. So for example, I'll just use me as an example. I'm not trans, none of that, but I'll use me as an example. I'm born, the doctor says, oh, it's a boy. You've already assigned me my gender. So then when I come along and I say, ooh, I don't feel, I feel, you know, this way or that way. Then people are like, no, you're a boy because that's what the doctor said. You see what I'm saying? I know for some of y'all it may be confusing. It's really not confusing to me. So it's like, okay, the doctor said that you were a boy, but you're telling me on the inside, you feel like a girl. So what the fuck are you talking about? I think that's where some of y'all get confused. I don't know. Um, fetish versus attraction. They went into that, talked about how, um, for a lot of black men, especially, um, especially, you know, their attraction for trans women, it can be looked at as a fetish because they don't have the space to live in and tell their truth. So while they actually may really be attracted to trans women, some people may be like, oh, it's just a fetish because 
you know, they're probably not bringing them out in the daylight. But the reason why they're not bringing the person that they may care about in the daylight is because they know what's going to be said or probably done to them. So they keep those, they keep that situation or the their relationship with a trans woman or a trans man, but especially trans women in the dark. I put Wise Carmen here at 22 minutes and 30 seconds. That bitch needs to go because she ain't said shit. Um, at this point, I'm thinking about the comments that y'all wrote and I'm like, okay, what are they talking about? Because y'all were saying how they were so, um, you know, on the defense and um, just being rude. This is what y'all were putting in, the, not all of y'all, but this is what some of y'all were saying in the comment section. So I don't watch this whole video. Let me just go ahead and say it. I watched that whole video for an hour and 12 goddamn minutes and not one time I saw them laughing. I saw serious conversations being had. I saw jokes being made. I didn't see nobody display any type. I hell, I feel like Angela Ra. She pop, she pop off more on CNN than them motherfuckers did at the Breakfast Club, and that's just the truth. Um, deceiving black man, trans tricking black, trans tricking men. I done told y'all, you know. Y'all can believe what y'all want to believe, but these trans women ain't tricking none of these niggas. These niggas, and this is what happens. For example, I'll give you an example. There was a trans girl, um, what was her name? She was from Houston. She got she was murdered in New Orleans. I forgot her name. China, China White? Not China White. China Doll Dupree. I think China Doll Dupree. I think that was her name. And I remember when she got first got murdered she was murdered some people that i know was like oh she probably tricked somebody the reason why y'all say things like that is because you feel like it it justifies or it makes it it makes it make more sense on why this person was murdered let's just be honest these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers know these bitches. Some of these bitches got 12 inches of dick in between their legs. They know what the fuck is going on. I don't care what nobody say. They are not tricking these niggas. And when I tell you the ones that are, it's probably a small percentage to the point where it's almost non existence. That's how little that they are probably tricking these dudes. And let's just be for real. A lot of these trans women, while some of them can pass, they can pass. They can pass. I ain't gonna take that away from a lot of these trans girls, but it's so it show a lot of them motherfuckers who can't, okay? And we're just gonna leave it at that. Um, 30 minutes in, I'm not confused. I'm still not really confused on why y'all, I'm not confused, but y'all say y'all confused. Um, Malik talking again. I put Wise Corman here. Um, switch, switching language, basically, making um i felt like i had to do a breakdown for y'all because i feel like y'all were confused i wasn't confused there are some things that i felt like i could learn more about but it wasn't anything that made me just be like ah oh, this is too much let me click off the video okay what um switching language making a space for people basically stop assuming everybody is straight stop assuming everybody identifies as the uh sex that you see um, because when you do things like if you walk into a room and you think every man in the room is straight and you start making and you start bashing gay men or gay folk what makes what well, how what makes you think that th if there are gay people in the room that they're going to feel open enough to come to you and speak their truth like y'all like y'all say like flame all some real shit if y'all ain't confused, <laughs> let me shut up, child. I'm going to go ahead and say it because fuck it, I even I already said it. We're not going to disrespect uh, Miss Flame over here. I'm not disrespecting Miss Flame, but I don't understand how y'all were confused by this interview, but y'all wasn't confused by Flame. Flame Monroe said out of her own mouth that she was had titties and all that stuff, but she only slept pretty much with studs. And even though she has lived her life, she physically looks like, I guess, a woman, she still lives her life as a man. 
and she still go and when she goes to the school she tries to hunch over so she basically so they won't see her breast what but y'all that shit don't confuse y'all <laughs> okay <laughs> maybe y'all can break that down to me um straight folks make rules different um y'all do it's kind of like when y'all ask a gay person, so when did you know you was uh, gay? When did you know you was straight? How you know you gay? How the fuck you know you straight? Um, things were taught when we were younger. Like I said, a lot of things were taught. Um, they're lies, they're not the truth. And we latch onto those things. And then when something new comes along and it confuses you or you don't understand it. You say it's stupid. You don't get it. This is dumb. This is crazy. And it's not that it's dumb or crazy or stupid. It may be that you just might, you may, ooh, I'm gonna say something. Um, we just may be stupid. We just may be dumb. We may just not get it, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean that it is dumb or it is stupid. It just may take a while for us to catch on. Everybody not meant to be a, be a math teacher. Every, everybody ain't meant to be an accountant. Everybody not meant to be, you know, a biology teacher. Everybody's not meant to be, uh, you know, a heart surgeon. You see what I'm saying? Um... So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to come to y'all so we could talk about that little interview so y'all can shut the fuck up and leave me alone. Uh, I mean, that would love too. But yeah, uh, yeah, I watched the interview. It, it was what it was. I wasn't confused at all. I'm not exactly sure how y'all were confused. Um, the stuff the boy was saying, y'all could really just go do a quick Google search and fact check it on some real shit. Um... Yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say. I'm done. Bye, y'all.